Hello fellow YouTubers, now today is a Friday, uh, July 27, and uh, this, this is Paul McCourt, uh, 400, that's the dosage, and um, it's used pro primarily for, for the treatment of asthma, it's an inhaler, but it's also used for bronchitis and uh, COPD, emphysema, and I've always wondered what's inside. So, I'm going to have a look. Now first, you only have to unscrew the, the casing, set that aside, and right, there you have the mouthpiece. You turn it one way and back again, that charges it. And I think, oh, and the, the mouthpiece rotates. Now put, yeah, put the mouthpiece over there. And you see we've got a, a mechanism here which I think has to do with the dosage. You'll notice that there's a, a red line here down the bottom. That means all, all the doses have been used. If it's up the top, there's approximately 20 doses left. Now, this, uh, this tube here, that is uh, for the air, air intake. This one, I don't know what it is, which is why I'm going to take it apart and have a look. Now there is a spring at the bottom here, which operates this. Oh yeah, now, I don't know. Right, okay, so that's what's on the bottom there, and there's the spring, there's that segment there, goes into the base there, yes. I suppose I should have cut it a bit closer. And for that, I think I'll have to put in the voice. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Okay. So, what have we got? We have a wheel, which is just for the counter, I think. And, uh... There are holes here, and here, and here, and here. Three holes each. So this is for the air, just you suck the air in, so I know what that one's for, but at least you can see what's inside of it. Now, what's in here? I'll have to cut it off too, won't I? I'll cut it down this way, we'll see what's in there as well. Well. There's nothing inside there, I know. This is serrated here, as is on the inside of this piece here too. So maybe it is in the bottom. And when it's turned, it, uh, hear that? Hmm. Oh well, it says here, the rattling sound you may hear when you shake your tube Tuber, however, is the drying agent built into the coloured base of the tuber holer and not the medication. Okay, so the medication must be in this area here. It's in this side here. Anyhow, at least I've had a sticky beak. So in essence, we have the cover. We have the mouthpiece, we have the blue, the, the blue tube is for medication delivery and this uh, little white tube here is for breathing, taking the air in. We have the counter which shows that little window here. 
the medication is stored in here in this area here and the bottom area the brown piece has a, uh, a drying agent in it so there you have it in a nutshell yes this um the gums are still a bit tender but the bleeding stopped and uh, everything's pretty I'm feeling pretty tired today but I don't know I'd say it's got a lot to do with the extraction didn't have a very good night last night but we all we all have those don't we we all do yes indeed yeah. anyhow I want to thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed that well that little investigation and until next time bye for now yeah made a bit of a mess that would be easy cleaned up no 